Steve, what a header by Sampy. That's what he's inside for, and uh, not just the header, I thought his work rate was, was there tonight as well, and not just him, I thought everyone was, and uh, we worked on a lot last week. As soon as Stamp is in there, you will get them balls into the box, and that, you know, that's been a frustrating part of our game. A lot, a lot this season where we've not been getting balls into the box, um, but you know, first half was one of them, was just dead. Such a matter of time, we needed a spark, we needed something, and uh, Jamie, Jamie Yates comes to life second half, most of them did, and let's say, improvement on the Bradford game, delighted three points. Uh, and when you see Telford have won tonight, it's very important you got the three points, because it just pulls you away a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it does a wee bit, but you know, we just concentrate on our own game, and you know, it's important that we win in, in our own backyard, and you know, I'm, I'm delighted for the players tonight, because you know, we've all come under some criticism and, you know, performances. Bradford was one of them. It was a poor game. You know, they got a reaction from their defeat. I think we've got a reaction tonight. You know, not classic, not a great performance, but you'll take a clean sheet for three points any the day of the week. And do you think the points total needed for survival this year will be higher than in previous years? 63, I think. Probably. <laughs> so we've got to keep winning. You know, but no, it's... It's going to be, you know, we'll just take each game as it comes. You know, we're, we're doing better than what we was last year. We, you know, I don't know where the problems are. You know, like I said, we're doing better point-wise. We've got to the FA Cup first round, as people say. We've won the County Cup. Um, we're sitting tenth in the league. It's all doing with gloom at the North Home. You know, your show's going to have to, you know, get a murderer out or something. Uh, and for uh, your side, Adam Quinn back on the bench, uh, how close is he to a, a return to, to the starting eleven? Very close. Um, we've just had the training sessions uh, with Quinny. Um, it would have been a gamble to put him straight back in the side. Um, but, you know, it's great to have him on board. Now it gives us, because, you know, the Bradford game, you know, without excuses, the conditions and all that, we've got five players set in the stand that we're probably getting anyone's first team. And, you know, they're slowly, gradually coming back. We've got Jarman back now. Uh, there's only Matty Wilson that's going to be sat in the stands for a, probably a month or so. Um, Quinny, you know, there's a game next Tuesday um, against somebody on here. I don't know, you know who, it's, who it's against. But it's an under-21 game. So he'll be able to play in that and, uh, you know, get him some minutes on board because all he's done is a couple of training sessions. So, you know, hopefully uh, we'll get him a game on Tuesday. Um, Getting through some minutes ready for us, and but like say, we're cutting things back. It, it puts you know, not pressure on players, but it puts competition on players, and they've got to be on the toes. And you know, that's what we're probably not having. A lot of players have been in sort of comfort zone, you know. I do my best to rally them, um, but you know, I've even got some kids tonight. I just give them a drum and a siren just to make some noise because we need some noise, we need a really good atmosphere because you know, everything was just dead tonight, and uh. You know, there was nothing, yeah, don't get me wrong, nothing to cheer about first half at all from both sort of sides, but it was them, them sort of games and you might get a lot of them because probably both teams and the players, you know, I don't set teams up, up to go out there and uh, be boring and not win games. It's just a case of, it looks like the players sometimes from both sets are scared to lose a game of football. Uh, the Henson manager, Frank Sinclair, was here tonight taking lots of pictures on his phone of how you defend set pieces. What are you expecting from them? A physical battle? It'll be a tough one, you know. Frank works wonders wherever he goes. You know, he did it at Colwyn Bay when he comes out. It'll be a very tough game. I think the, uh, the big uh, Kyle Perry, I think he's suspended this weekend, so, you know, that'll be a big loss for them. But, you know, I expect a, a very tough game down there. Um, but, like you say, we've got that win on the board. And it just breeds confidence, you know, you, I think it goes for every team and you look at like uh, like Lincoln City, you know, everyone's in the doldrums, they win one, they've won two on the bounce and they're near the playoffs now, I'm not saying about us being near the playoffs, I'm just saying about you win a game of football, you, you know, it, it's frightening what it does to you and, and the players and hopefully we'll take that on board and uh, have no fear going into Saturday's game. I understand you and Frank have some history both getting sent off at Colwyn Bay once, so you're going to be on your, your best behaviour on Saturday? Yeah, Frank, no, I, I, I've been sent off there, you know, not against, nothing against Frank. I think Frank was already in the stands then anyway, because, you know, he's, he's, he's suspended, he, he was suspended. I mean, I don't know if he's suspended now because he got sent off at Boston, I believe. But, you know, no, me and Frank, you know, I get on really well with Frank and it'd be good to see him back in the game and good to see him on Saturday. But, you know, hopefully uh, 
three points will be coming our way and let's say edge even closer to sort of safety comfort zone but well I mean they'll not be in comfort zone I'll send the players out to win every game and you know did I ever answer that question how many points it's probably about 45 I would say well that, that's that's what you need I think here at RNA Scott, we hold the MAN Truck and Bus UK franchise for Gainsborough and the surrounding area. But we don't just service and repair trucks, we do cars as well. Our competitive car service and MOT packages start from as little as £99 and include parts, labour and VAT. But we're not just fanatical about vehicles, we are passionate about football too and are proud to sponsor Gainsborough Trinity.